Guy Fieri is back in the house. Guy Fieri is back in the house. Guy Fieri is back in the house. Actually, can we do that again, but with flames, please? Can we, can we edit in some flames here? What's up? It's Guy Fieri, and I'm back for more. Okay. What is up, beautiful? How you doing? You look amazing, and I'm so happy you're here today. Thank you for joining me. Today, we're watching some people do at-home highlights in a few different methods. Uh, you'll see. You know what these videos are about. Uh, give this video a like, even though it hasn't even started yet. Just do it. It'd be so good for me. You know what highlights are. You know what at-home color looks like. Let's get it started. Let's watch some people ruin their hair with highlights at home. Let's do it. And our first video is by a woman named Van... Well, her channel's name is Van Luke. Seven. And the video is called Grey Highlight Tutorial Gone Wrong. Hair fail or success? Well, I will be the judge of that today. I didn't put lashes on today. It's because I'm going to be doing my hair today. So yeah, I know I might look a little bit like Kermit the Frog without my lashes, but hey, it's <laughs> just what it is. So anyway, Girl, you look great! <laughs> Literally me as a mom. <laughs> I'm making fun of my kid all the time. Like it was ridiculous. Oh yeah, I scratched that. Where's my fork? This right here, you guys, is the best thing. What? For scratching your head. Don't do that. Any other areas of your body when you have an itch. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you knew this, but they make scratchers, like back scratchers. So if you need a, like a scratcher, girl, let me send you one. <laughs> Let's stop using forks. Anywho, <laughs> for today's video, y'all, um, we are doing my gray streaks again. It hit my elbow. Uh, the amount of AD in this video is actually I gone back to black, but I use, like, alarming, this tip, but also but relatable. I just to show y'all, this is all of my gray right here. I love okay. it. Okay, the thing off the bat I'm gonna say is that her dark hair definitely makes her look a lot, a lot younger. She literally could pass for 28. She might be 28, I don't know. <laughs> but I think with the gray hair, I think it's gonna age her a lot. Even though I have no problem with gray hair, believe me, I have turned a lot of people from somebody who likes to cover up their gray hair to somebody who rocks their gray hair. Like, I'm like the biggest gray hair advocate, except when like, you're just not quite there in age yet, like, and it looks better dark or like, fully colored and then i i think she looks good with this this color hair i think it looks very natural um and we're gonna see what she does though we're gonna see the hard thing when it comes to transitioning to gray <laughs> is going through the odd phase of the skunk yeah thing, the skunk you really have to keep up with it or it like really doesn't look thing. good i genuinely think gray hair is super schmick y'all hey so me anyways, too girl me too so girl <laughs> today i bought this prism lights oh. um it's a dust free Tonal lightener, so it will tone down some of the brassiness is what I read. So, tonal lightener basically just has more blue pigments in the lightener. So while it's lifting your hair, it'll cancel out at the same time some of those orange tones that may come through if you're lightening very dark hair. You know, most lighteners these days are tonal. Love that. It's all of this stuff I got from Sally's, y'all. I am not a professional. Okay? Got it. I realized so that. Anybody saying like, <laughs> Yes, thank because you for saying that. Crazy. Okay, let's be real. Yes. Family members supporting family members. Yes. Family members supporting family members. We love that so much. I also bought this. I don't know what is if, that? if you can see it well. Got to be metallic. The color is metallic silver. Why don't I pay people to do this for me? Like, I can afford to have people do this. Like, why don't I do this? Exactly my thought. I guess it's just more fun ruining your hair and then having to get it fixed. I don't know. I mean, apparently that's the consensus of like what I've gotten over the years from these videos. Like people just like to ruin their hair. It's like fun for them. I still don't understand, but what am I gonna do about it, you know? I mix equal parts of this with the bleach. And then you go right up here. Okay, well actually. And then, and then you just go in and you just bleach. You just, oh my God, I can't believe I'm doing this again. I mean, kind of good. I put the this is kind of nice. She got it really close to that root. I'm really impressed. 
I don't know what this placement is. I don't know if she has any rhyme or reason to why she's doing it like this. But like, I don't know. I'll live your extra life, you know? Oh, yeah. Okay, living. Some horizontal foils. She's doing very fine sections. We like that. I mean, this isn't the worst thing I've ever seen. Why are you calling me Tatiana? Who's Tatiana? <laughs> Nobody thought neither. Nobody thought neither. Nobody thought neither. Nobody thought neither. I love this family. Her daughter is called her Tatiana. I always call people Tatiana. <laughs> so relatable. Up here, there isn't much white. So I'm going to go very light with the bleach in the front. The majority of it is going to be in the back. <laughs> Did I hear that correctly? Why are we... What? So she's only foiling where she has white hair. I don't know if she exactly realizes that what foiling does, it gives you highlights. So we just don't want any highlights in the front of our head? Just in the back? Usually it's the opposite. But um, I guess we can work with that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hair. That way when it grows out, I don't have to worry about coloring the regrowth. I just want to be able to do this and then be done with it. So that's why I'm using this technique. <laughs> what? Mm, I'm confused. <laughs> so she wants it so that when her hair grows out and she gets that line of demarcation from where her grays are to her black hair, she wants that to blend more. So she's only foiling the parts where it has the gray hair. Okay, I think I'm kind of understanding. I guess she doesn't really want it all even. She just wants the gray parts to be gray and the black parts to be black. To each their own. By no means at all am I a professional. <laughs> this is just something that Thank you for repeating that. I needed to, to remember. Oh, look at this placement. I love it. <laughs> My favorite part the job is done. <laughs> My favorite part is that she's calling herself out before I even have to. Thank you for that. Oh, gosh, oh. Hair, which this is the oh. that it turned out. I think it got really light. It looks really great. Oh. Oh. Uh, 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 Girl, what had happened in the back of your head? Honestly, like the front highlights aren't bad. It's just that one spot of like Piss yellow blonde that I'm like, what had happened there? What had happened there? So now she's using that silver box dye. And hopefully this is gonna maybe tone her hair a little bit so it looks more like, I don't know, presentable. But uh, I don't think it's possible. So maybe not. <laughs> oh, oh no. My hair <laughs> Loses two strands. Clickbait. Um, me, when I'm watching videos. If this is not an accurate depiction of my reaction videos, <laughs> everything's good, girl. Everything's fine. <laughs> I abruptly ended. I washed off the dye because some of my hair was falling off. Um, I didn't lose too much hair, which is good, but I did lose some hair. Now, some of my hair is very damaged. What is that? But she really can't. Why is it skunky? <laughs> I don't like it. I think we missed the mark on this one. It looks very natural. Oh, um, natural wear. Somebody show me where it's natural because it looks like a big streak down the middle of your head. I don't know. Maybe I have bad eyesight. I don't know, you guys, but. Share the video with your friends and your family on your social media and everything. Girl. There you go. I just shared it for you. I hope you enjoyed well, me watching your video. And there you go. There's what you wanted. It shared the world now. <laughs> oh, Van Luke, thank you for that. Thoroughly enjoyed your personality. And I don't know, maybe go to a hair house next time since you said you can afford it. So, <laughs> in our next video is by Patrick Jordan English. How to color and highlight hair. Do it yourself by Patrick Jordan. Highlights, do it yourself. Sounds like a bad idea. All right, cool. That's great, awesome. With this technique, you can either go for a bottle yash. Mmm, sorry, I'm already gonna come for you. I'm already, I'm already coming for you, but uh, you got a little spotting going on there, girl. It's a little spotty on the top there, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I'm gonna tell you. Okay, so what's the what's the lines. technique we're going here? So what you wanna do is a three strand doing? regular braid what's, and you're going to section off pieces of hair every time you cross an outer okay. strand. 
Once you're done braiding, those pieces of hair that you left out are the ones that you're going to dye or bleach. What? I've seen it all, man. I've seen it all. First of all, you gotta know how to braid very well in order to do this. <laughs> Second of all, I mean, I get the idea that like, they're trying to just do it, randomize the pieces that are chosen. I just don't really know what the, the braid would be doing. Again, I've seen it all at this point, I guess. So obviously this is a very natural look because different pieces of hair come so natural, every yeah. other direction. It's so natural. It's too. gonna be so really use this natural. And if you want your hair to look even more natural, what you want to do is tease the sections you left <sighs> out. And, and we're back eye. combing in a braid so that way it never comes out. How long should you leave the Ooh. product on? I'm gonna be kind of shook if this comes out good. Listen, this has potential to actually be maybe decent, but what I'm already noticing is that we're not coloring anything up here. So everything's very concentrated on like five inches of her ends, uh, which is gonna probably give her a very harsh like ombre instead of highlight. She's already starting with highlights, so it's kind of hard to tell what the new parts are gonna look like. Let's check it out. And now, detangle your hair for the next five hours. Have fun. Hair bleaches with lower volumes are going to lighten your hair slowlier. Did she just say slowlier? Less hair slowlier, but at the same time, slowlier, but at the same slowlier. Let's see if slowlier is a word. Slowlier. No, definitely not. I'm sorry. <laughs> slower is a word actually slowlier is not but um okay <laughs> actually you're still getting like a very solid line of like where the new bleaching is i don't know i don't you should, I, it kind of just looks like she took bleach and just slapped it on all of her ends that she just needs more highlights in the top that's all i don't think this looks like horrible i just think she needs to like get some highlights up there and like blend all of it together because right now she kind of has like dark roots orange mids blonde ends and it's very like and like you just put a few highlights going through all of that, it'll make it nice and even and glamorous and wonderful and make me very happy. <laughs> Ding. And our last video for today is by a girl named JB. What's up, JB? Highlights at home on dark hair. L'Oreal Frost in design review and demo. Fudge yeah. Let's highlight some hair, shall we? This intro. Kit Perfect. It's about $10. It's Amazing. Frost and Design. I haven't seen really too many reviews. Uh, like there's probably reviews, a reason for that. So but I thought that maybe I, I don't could. Know. And also, I am a novice at hair dyeing. I am no way an expert. This is my first time ever doing anything crazy on my own hair. Uh huh. So, yeah, I'm basically taking the risk to help you people out in the future oh. in case you decide to do this and then see my video. So as you can see, this is everything that came in the kit right here. Okay, it looks that like bleach. Stuff, so that's good. I wonder how many lawsuits like L'Oreal gets for at-home hair color a year. Could you imagine? Maybe not. I don't know. Um, this is the oh, this is the toner. That we don't even know what developer this is. It just um, it's just a one size the, fits all kind of like, moment. You're to take the oh! Oh, it's a cap highlight. <sighs> I have not seen one of these. I don't even know. Since I was a child, like 10, I, I used to do this on mannequins when I was younger, like these cap highlights. I'm very interested to see how this is gonna go. I'll explain more in a second how these things work, but interesting. If you've never seen one of these before, you're gonna be shook. I'm gonna just try to put these all over highlights. Oh, I would never have the patience for this. It's like crocheting your hair. I, I'm not, I can't even make it up. You're literally crocheting your head. And, if you ask me, how how is this gonna work, Brad? How is this gonna be precise? Right, how is she not gonna have random highlights all over her head? I don't have an answer for you. She is 100% gonna have random highlights all over her head. Oh my God. Okay, so this is what it looks like once you pulled all the hair through the cap. It is wild. She looks like a Chia pet and kind of a look. That is a lot of hair she's coloring and maybe she doesn't know how much hair that really is because when we do foils in salon, like our foils are very, very skinny. And these, there's big chunks of hair coming out of her, out of this frosting cap. A lot of her hair is gonna turn blonde. She is gonna have a drastic makeover and I hope that's what she's looking for. Otherwise, 
She's gonna be uh, in, for a, in for a treat. We are applying that bleach starting on those ends. That's good, at least she's not like putting it right on the top because it can tend to bleed through the cap. Work, cover that hair. <laughs> It looks like it's lightening very well. So we're on to kind of a good star. We'll see. We'll see how good her um hair picking method was at the end. That's always the, the fun part is ripping these caps off and then seeing it all fall into place. And then usually you're just like, what happened there? Honestly though, for $10, pretty good deal. <laughs> you get so much bleach and developer. How do they make money off of that? We're bagging it and we're leaving it to set. Such a damn look. Oh, okay, not that bad. Interested to see it dry. Haven't formed my opinion yet. Um, also that's because I took out more sections in the top here. Um, okay, artiste. Uh, like for my first time and for a cheap kit, I think um, it did a pretty good job. Honestly, it lightened her hair very nicely. And I'll blow dry it and then get back to you. So this is the oh. final I'm just gonna put Forming my thoughts here. But um, it's not skunky. I'm gonna have to say it's skunky. It's a little skunky and a little chunked. This is easily fixable though. Just put a little bit of a darker toner at the top just to blend those new highlights with your natural hair. And it won't be like the worst thing ever for an at-home color job. It might be a little uneven, but I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful that that's only something that I noticed since I'm the uh, one no. I think everybody might notice that. Um, it's very she looks yeah, cute though, <laughs> with the lighter hair. She's such a cute girl. I want her to go get real highlights done, like good ones, <laughs> because it'll look so much better. But I understand if like your parents want to pay for it or like you don't want to pay for it. I get it, but uh, it could look a lot better. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and she's so cute. I want her to have like perfect highlights. <sighs> you know what? We can't have everything in life. <laughs> All right, thank you, JP. That was. Riveting. It looks cute, but uh, it's gonna be a, a slight no for me. I like you blonder, but I like you with nicer blonder. <sighs> All right, what did we learn from today, guys? We learn. Let's just not do highlights at home. I don't know. I wouldn't recommend it. Unless you really do a lot of studying and a lot of like watching people's videos on YouTube, maybe try and like figure out how to do foils. Maybe you can then do it. Or like if your hair is naturally light and you want to do more highlights on top of it, maybe, maybe, maybe it's possible. But uh, I haven't seen anything very good. So let's just commit to not doing it, okay? Let's save that money up. Let's head to the dressers and let's get it done professionally. All right, and thank you guys so much for being here today. <sighs> I enjoyed hanging out with you. Huge. Follow me on Instagram at Bramando NYC if you want to see more of me. Ooh, you see that? I just ran there. Uh, follow my brand X Mondo if you want to see product releases, me doing hair more. And then in the new Twitter, Bramando NYC. That's it. That's my life. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, please. And I will see you all next time. Peace.